I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARPgasm. Today I'm reviewing the Gargoyle Forge Dungeon Dweller LARP Safe Torch and what an interesting item. Now this particular torch is foam. It is a buffer that you can hit people with. Now it's meant to hold a glow stick however I put a little tea light in there that flickers um, because you can do whatever you want to with it. Um, you don't have to hit people with it, but if you want to, you can. It's very light, just like uh, the swords and stuff that they make, because it's made from the same sort of hand-carved foam with the uh, graphite core inside, so it's still very, very light. But this is meant to actually bash people with, which is something I have not seen uh, from any manufacturer is a LARP safe torch. Let me go ahead and pull this tea light out of here real quick. Now we've talked about Gargoyle Forge before and you can find them on facebook.com slash Gargoyle Forge and you can order things from there. And I'll also include a link to their site below. But they've been around since 2012. They're a US based company and they go to a lot of conventions and stuff so you may have seen them there. And if you haven't, if you do happen to run into them, be sure to stop by their booth, check out these awesome super lightweight weapons and uh, let them know that Max sent you. But um, this torch was sort of one of the reasons why I reached out to the company was because I saw this and I'd never seen anything like it before. Now, they make two versions of this torch, the iron one and they make one with a wooden handle as well. And I think they both look just really incredible. And the fact that you can actually put a light source in them to me is also just an amazing thing. Now, I'll include the stats below, but this is 18 inches long and it's meant for light and lightest touch games like Nero Alliance. Accelerant, Dystopia Rising, stuff like that. And a lot of the things that they make could be used in multiple genres of games, but they also make specifically post-apocalyptic and modern day sort of things as well as the medieval stuff that they do. Now, this uh, I think is awesome, but it does give me a few concerns. One is that some LARPs may view this as a trapping or pinning hazard. Now the foam's pretty soft, and I think you'd be hard pressed to catch someone's sword blade in there, but that doesn't mean it couldn't happen. So some games may not pass this. Um, using it as a beat stick, I mean, it's soft. It's not gonna hurt anyone. If you're doing a lightest touch game, you're really not gonna hurt anyone. But uh, you know, the core only goes down you know, to maybe there, so there's foam and foam at the end, and uh, it's squishy. So I don't think there's really safety issues that way. The only thing I see is possibly a trapping pinning type of obstacle with this being open. I'm not sure if you can get around that, but um, that's the only really drawback I see to it. And the only other item I found, and which is why I had the tea light in there, is that it's meant to hold a glow stick. The problem is most glow sticks you're gonna find look like this. I feel like they used a specific type of glow stick when they made this, but just looking at this, you can tell this is just not gonna fit inside. Um, and there's no way to cut glow sticks down. Even if I cut this hook off, it's still not fitting. So you would have to figure out exactly what type of glow stick that they use to produce this and then buy those. But if you get your hands on those, you're gonna have an awesome fizz rep. And with a glow stick in here, it would just be phenomenal. But those are just two small concerns I would have. And I mean, really, the glow stick thing is completely able to be overridden by finding the right glow sticks or smaller ones. And the safety concern, like I said, you just have to see what your LARP has to say about it. Uh, the only thing I would change about this item is the inside is unpainted, just sort of white foam. I would paint the inside either the same dark color or I would use the mirror paint that I use a lot of times on the inside so that way it would reflect out even more. Uh, but minor concerns, things that are easily fixed and uh, if you ask the company when they make yours to do something like that, I have a feeling that they would because all of these are handcrafted, hand carved from foam, bespoke, very awesome stuff. They say that with this you now have no excuse to cast magic missile into the darkness because all of your party members can have one of these awesome torches and uh, I think that that's true. Uh, for the price point, I think that it's incredible. This will run you about 50 bucks and uh, you know, let's just take a quick close up of it. You have this awesome medieval torch design, their maker's mark. And then just the paint job with the plasti dip and whatever other secrets they use 
it just looks real. It looks like metal to me. And from a distance, I think it really looks, you know, pretty awesome. The one with the wood handle looks just as great. Just depends on if you want that sort of full iron look or if you're looking for, you know, the, the wooden grip on here. As far as this goes, if it's something you're interested in, follow the links below. Be sure to check these guys out on facebook.com slash gargoyleforge and I'll include a link to another website as well that you can check them out on, but all their orders go through Facebook. And if you like this video, please be sure to click like, subscribe to my channel for more awesome reviews of these great items that you may otherwise not know about. And be sure to let all your friends know, anyone you LARP with know that I'm here making these reviews for you guys so you can check this stuff out, you know, in 1080p, three-dimensional, not just a static photo, and uh, getting my sort of personal opinion on these. And like I said, Gargoyle Forge, I'm very impressed so far with what I've seen. The sword's super light, this is super light, everything seems really durable. I've plastic dipped things myself, so I know that the coating they're using is going to hold up. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoy Gargoyle Forge products, and uh, until next time, adventure on.